Good evening, one and all. I am Kulli Gajaran. My token number is GTC 0121003. I am studying Diploma in Tool Engineering and Digital Manufacturing fourth semester at Ganwaram Training Center. Today, I am here to present my soft talk, Electrochemical Grinding uh, or Alternative Grinding. Now, let's see how the Electrochemical Grinding works. Electrochemical Grinding is similar to Electrochemical Machining, but in Electrochemical Grinding, we use a grinding wheel instead of a tool shaped like a contour of a workpiece. In electrochemical grinding is based on an analytic solution where electrochemical machining works at present anode and tool at present cathode are separated by a small gap is called ultralytic cell. In this ultralytic cell has a gap distance between 0.025 mm. Now let me explain this diagram. Where here you can see DC power supply motor where positive ions are connected to the workpiece and DC power supply motor where negative ions are connected to the grinding wheel. Now we can see a big tank which is used to produce electrolytic fluids. Now let me explain few other elements in this diagram. We can see a nozzle which is used to produce electrolytic fluids. Beside that we can see a meter which is called as a flow meter which is used to control the flow of electrolytic fluids and you can see a gauge which is used to control the pressure of the electrolytic fluids and you can see a small filter like a box which is used to filter the abrasive particles of electrolytic fluids and we can see a pump which is used to recirculate the electrolytic fluids in the tank where we can see a small tank which is behind the pump. Now, it may explain few other points about electrochemical grinding. In electrochemical grinding is a depleting process, the workpiece material is carried by circulating the ultralight. Electrochemical grinding is similar to electrochemical machining, but uses a wheel instead of a tool shape like a contour of a workpiece. Now, let me see some electrolytic grinding wheels. In electrochemical grinding, Wheels are used like diamond and aluminum oxides. The most commonly used electrolytic fluids are sodium nitrate, sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide. These electrolytic fluids serve useful purpose like it flushes out the leftover material between grinding wheel and the workpiece which means it is used as a coolant also and which removes the raw material and between the grinding wheel and the workpiece. Now let's see few advantages of electrochemical grinding. The accuracy of electrochemical grinding is very high and a high tolerance can be obtained. It is used to machine harder materials like more than 65 HRC where normal convection machines is very difficult to perform these operations. This process does not leave any scratch marks or indentation marks of the workpiece. The heat generated during this operation is very less which compared to the other convection machining operations or traditional operations. Here this process is also known as a burn free process. Let me say few disadvantages of electrochemical grinding. Electrolytic fluids can cause corrosion at the workpiece and the grinding wheel surfaces because due to the electrolytic fluids. Now let me say few applications of electrolytic grinding. These electrolytic grindings are used in for the grinding the turbine blades and honeycomb parts in aerospace. It is used in aerohypothermics which is used in hospitals like syringes and needles. It is used for grinding the carpet cutting tools and which is also used to grind the Normal cutting tools also. Now, let me show you a video about electrochemical grinding. Reaction Electrochemical grinding requires the following parts DC power supply, electrolyte tank, reservoir, electrolyte, circulating system, nozzle, grinding wheel. Working. The workpiece is made to act as an anode, while the grinding wheel is made to act as a cathode. Sodium nitrate, sodium chloride, and potassium nitrate are most commonly used as an electrolyte. 
The electrolyte is generally fed at the machining interface, between the workpiece and the grinding wheel through a nozzle. This electrolyte forms an electric connection between the tool which is the cathode, and the workpiece that is the anode. There is no direct contact between the wheel and the workpiece, only the insulating abrasive particles protruding from the grinding wheel come in contact with the workpiece. A gap of 0.025 mm is constantly maintained, which is filled by the electrolyte. The grinding wheel causes the electrolyte to flow past the workpiece. And the workpiece material is removed by the simultaneous action of the abrasive and the electrolyte solution. Application. It is used for grinding turbine blades. Sharpening hypodermic needles. Grinding of tungsten carbide tool bits. Grinding of cutting tools. Used in the production of a thin walled tube. Grinding cemented carbide, refractory materials, stainless steel, and high alloy steel without producing burr. Advantages. The process can grind very thin materials of about 1 mm, which otherwise will be damaged if machined using traditional grinding operations. The machined areas are burr free. There is no hardening and cracking of the workpiece. The grinding wheel requires less frequent dressing. No heat is generated and hence no thermal distortion of the workpiece. The process is faster as compared to the traditional grinding process for grinding tough materials. Disadvantages. Both the wheel and the workpiece should be a good conductors of electricity. The electrolyte may have a corrosive effect on the tool and the workpiece. The process is not economical for soft materials. Preventive maintenance cost is high. Friends, in this video, we have seen how electrochemical grinding works. And we have seen uh, about, uh, about advantages and disadvantage of electrochemical grinding and applications of electrochemical grinding. Thank you.